Uh, I became part of Helmut Juniors because I was asked to do it and I was the only one who was interested in it. <laughs> and uh, finally I wanted to change something because I was really pissed about my working condition. I just had a friend or a colleague uh, who told me about this. So there's this kind of group of students who's doing some active work and they are also in connection with the politics and due to the fact I'm already pretty active since I was in school. And I thought, yeah, it sounds nice, and also connections to the politics. I knew already at that time, with the, the beginning of my PhD, um, that there's something wrong with politics and actual science, so that there's also a lot of influence and money going. I thought, yeah, maybe just have a, have a look at it. So she took me then uh, to the working groups itself, and was contacting some people, and then I was joining the midterm meeting. And then so I was pretty impressed by the amount of people or like of, let's say students with this super like these forethinkers these people who want to change something for the future and for the system and for the whole society not for themselves basically just they want to do it for the science itself and also just just to have the people from the different topics and then I realized it's not only about like contact uh, the contact of the politics so it's basically about changing things and making like the science a better science in total so because after a while you realize yeah, PhD time can be pretty tricky can be pretty tough can be pretty hard and those people were willing to do that and this was what impressed me the most and keep me up to track in doing this for two and a half years. The possibility to change something in my center and the other centers I had in the working conditions group really motivated me to do this for now 2.5 years long. We are focusing on improving the working conditions for a doctoral researcher. So everyone will realize at some point of his PhD um, kind of not so well paid compared to your other friends who drop out from uh, from school, or not from drop out from school, but finish their school, finish their university, and then they go for real jobs. And you are doing science and um, try to improve something in society. You're doing something for non-profit. Um, but why should you be paid only half and why then we, if you look at all the Helmholtz centers now, why they are students or doctoral researchers uh, which are kind of doing the same job as you try and have the same ideas but getting less paid or getting, have, having less vacation, having um, no right to vote in open votes and, or open polls. Um, and this is what we try to improve. So we try to make like for every student or every doctoral researcher kind of a unified contract which helps then to bring back the motivation to be a scientist. So because you can only be creative if your surrounding is good. So if somebody, come, if somebody comes to an artist and say like, okay, you have time until tomorrow, uh, paint me the new Mona Lisa. And no, sci no scientist, no artist, could become creative under pressure or under bad circumstances. So we need kind of some something, you need a free mind, basically. And this is what we try to make possible, so that the doctoral researchers can have a free mind to be creative, to bring, sounds a bit philosoph philosophy, now to bring the new tomorrow. That is what the philosophic idea behind is. So basically we want to get a proper payment, we want to get proper vacation because PhD times can be pretty tough um, and we want to get like that our voice is heard in polls, in votes, in also the politics and that people see what we are doing and that we get appreciated. That's the task. We emphasize that um, the overall acceptance of doctoral work and doctoral research is accepted as research what it is, um, that we are accepted as scientists, what we sometimes are not, and that this is valued in terms of appreciation and money. Because actually you can work 60 hours a week, get 50s paid, and no one tells you, hey, you did a good job, and that you give you some more money. And I think this is the most important. That's tricky. I would say. So I was uh, giving some talks uh, in the political field already about the PhD situation and at some point um, they are pretty interested in it. Uh, but only if it fits to their 
actual agenda. As soon as it comes, um, then that the polls are over, that whatever the, the government is changing, whatever, you just dropped out and they are not responding anymore on your, if you ask them something or if you write them an email, it takes some time until they respond. So it takes really some effort uh, you have to do to keep in, in contact with them. This is also what our group is doing. So we try to make this, the, the kind of, uh, in German we call it precaire um, Arbeitsbedingungen, uh, so to make them visible to the politics, because I had the feeling, uh, especially when I was in the Bundestag and listening to the, um, to the talks about the Wissenschaftszeitvertragsgesetz, that the politics are, or the politicians are not so aware of the real situation in the, in the PhD life. Basically, they, they, they know that there's something going on, but they don't know exactly what. And sometimes they're just like going in another direction. Uh, and especially when it comes to the Wissenschaftszeitvertragsgesetz, they celebrate it as a big success, but at some point it is not. So, because at some point it's misused to take out some scientists because they're getting too expensive, uh, and so on and so on. So, this makes it pretty difficult because, first of all, they have other things on the agenda. So they not putting that much effort or attention to you. And so this is why we are actually needed to try to get back to contact them or take the effort and the time to stay in contact. Like being friends, but on the other hand, it's very professional about the things and it's very democratic. I can, um, I can bring in my ideas and I can take part in discussions and decide things. Um, over time I had the feeling that we get more motivated and more organized. So in the very beginning, 2.5 years ago, we had a lot of trouble. With the working condition group was quite strong, but the communication group was quite weak. They didn't know what to do exactly and there was much confusion about what they did at all. <laughs> um, and from now on we have quite motivated groups, cool people. We had the chance to twice already do the next gen which is, was quite an effort. Interesting part is the work in my own center to see how the center is working internally and how other centers are working internally. And the politics, science interface you often have to work with. So to be honest, uh, in the beginning, as I, as I mentioned, uh, I heard about this, yeah, they're in contact with the politics and I knew that the politics is, or the politic is a a big lever to kind of which you can use to achieve something and I thought ah, let's try it so I was not really sure uh, about it uh, and then when I stepped in so I, that was also a critical phase of my PhD then and I realized okay there's some weird stuff going on let's see if I can change something and to be honest I also did it not for myself, so I'm in a quite a good contract situation. I have a, a good working condition, let's say like that. But if I see, like, why can I have it and the others do not? So even though they can be smarter as me or they're working, working on super astronomy, physics stuff, which I never would understand, but they're getting half of the money. So why should it be and why not? changing it and so this is also why I stayed for two and a half years because it is a long process and um, we achieved already quite a lot so especially with that statement we wrote um, we get heard already so we get heard by parts of the politics we get heard by the uh, directorate by the headquarters even already by the other um, I'd say associations like Max Planck and Leibniz and so now we start to unify and start to pull on one string so Max Planck Leibniz um, maybe we can get Fraunhofer as well. Um, so to change something, to improve things. And we have already institutes which are changing now. And at that point, I'm already pretty happy. I had a personal goal. I wanted to have better situation and working conditions for scholarship holders because I am one. I couldn't achieve it, but I could find people that will do uh, the fight for me <laughs> when I leave. <laughs>